Welcome to CG Dive. In this video, we'll talk about an awesome add-on called XP Kit. It has a number of features that connect Blender's Rigify, the Miximo animation library, and game engines. In this video, I'll focus on Miximo and Rigify, and in future videos, we may explore other workflows. Feel free to let me know what you would like to see in the comments. As you may know, there is a Miximo add-on for Blender which creates control rigs for Miximo animations. But if you want to use Rigify, then XPKit is the way to go. XPKit was developed by Paolo and he introduced it on his YouTube channel Balls and Ninjas, which is the best YouTube channel name ever, uh, no contest. Please subscribe and share his stuff because he deserves more recognition for the great work he's doing. To download and install XP Kit, go to this GitHub page. And if you want to test some of the experimental features, you can go to the branches. But in this video, I'll be using one of the official releases. So click on the tags link. And here is version 0.2 alpha. And from here, I'm going to download XP Kit 0.20 alpha dot zip. Okay, then in Blender, to install the add-on, go to edit preferences, add-ons, click on install, find the zip file. Select it and click install add-on and activate it. When you have any armature object and go to pose mode and when you right click, you're going to get most of the XP kit features in the right click menu. Okay, let's dive in. And I'm going to show you two different workflows with uh, XP kit. In the first one, we'll take an unrigged character, rig it with Miximo, and then we'll use XP Kit's features to convert this Miximo armature to a Rigify one. And then we can also easily apply Miximo animations to it. And in the other workflow, we'll start with a character that is already rigged with Rigify, and then we'll see how we can uh, connect that to Miximo. So let's start implementing the first workflow. We want to take this character to Miximo. If you need to limit what is being exported, you can select all of your meshes that you want to export and then go to File, Export, FPX, and you could limit the export to the selected objects only, and everything else I can leave to the default settings. I'll export, then go to Miximo, upload a new character, and I'm going to drag and drop the FPX that I just exported out of Blender. Make sure the character is facing front, click Next, and then place the markers as the names indicate, so chin, wrists, and so on. Click Next. Make sure the test animation looks OK. Click Next. And confirm that you want to change the character. And here I have an animation already applied to this model. I'm going to press the X button so that the character is in T-Pose and then press Download. And instead of T-Pose, I want to download it with the original pose. The original rest pose that I set in Blender. Because I don't want Miximo to change things for me. Okay, back in Blender. I'm going to move this guy aside a little bit and then import an FPX and I'm going to import the FPX that I just downloaded from Miximo. Don't worry about the missing textures, we can fix that very easily. Just select one of the meshes and go to the Material tab and change the material from the 001 uh, material to the original one without 001. And do that for all meshes. And now I can delete the original mesh. And that leaves me with the exact mesh that I hit at the beginning. But now, if I select the armature and go to pose mode, it is rigged with Miximo. Okay, and here is where XP Kit will come into play. You should have XP Kit enabled. And now if you go to pose mode and right click, here under XP Kit, you'll find the XP Kit features and tools. So now what we want is to convert this armature from Miximo to Rigify. And so what we can do is go to conversion and extract MetaRig. But before I do, I forgot to do something very important. I have to have the transforms of the rig and character applied. If I go to item, you'll see that uh, there is some unapplied rotation and scale for the armature and also for the meshes. So just select everything and press Ctrl A and apply all transforms. And that worked for me. Uh, however, I have to say that if 
your character jumps to another position when you apply the transforms. Check if the armature has any keyframes. If there are keyframes here, just select them and delete them with the delete key. And um, you should also go to pose mode, select all, select all bones and delete any keyframes and then go to pose, clear transform all. That will reset your armature and then applying the transforms should work. Cool, uh, next I'll select the armature, go to pose mode and now I want to convert uh, this Miximo skeleton to rigify. So right click, conversion, extract meta rig. And the source type we have to set as Miximo. And you'll see that the armature changed a little bit. And if you're familiar with rigify, you'll recognize some of these bones. And here are a few settings that we have to change. First, let's look from the side view and you'll see that the legs are quite straight. So you can use this knee offset in the other direction like this, minus uh, 0 0.01 for me. And that will create a little bit of bend in the knees and that will help Rigify generate the legs correctly. Okay, from the top view, this may actually be fine, but I'm going to give the elbow a little bit of a bend as well. 0 0.01 is fine. And then from the front view, take a look at the fingers. And here, I think I have to set the uh, fingers Z value to minus 0.1 or so. And you'll see that they lift it a little bit, maybe minus 0.3. Okay, and that again will make sure that the fingers are generated correctly and they bend correctly. The other settings uh, should be fine. One that you may be interested in is no face bones. It is on by default. And if you uncheck it, this will give you a face rig. Rigify face rig and what you could do from here is align these bones to the face and that will also generate a face rig. However, the face won't be weighted to these new uh, face bones. And last week I released another video in which I showed how you can add new face bones to an existing armature. So you can watch that and also in the second workflow I'll show in this video, I'll show you how you can have a character with a face that you can also connect to Mixumo using XPKit. Okay, so for this example, I'll enable the no face bones setting. And then I'm ready to generate. Um, something else that you could do is delete some bones that you don't need. I can enable in front to see the bones. Uh, and so I'll go to edit mode here for the armature and these breast bones and the uh, hips bones or pelvis bones, I don't need, so I can delete them. X and delete. They weren't part of the Miximo skeleton, so they won't do anything. So I can delete them easily. Uh, by the way, do not delete these heel bones. They are important. And then I can go back to pose mode and under armature, generate the rig. And what is really cool is the way XPKit works, your character will now be skinned to the Rigify rig. So if I try to manipulate the Rigify rig, it is already working. Okay. So I can hide the meta rig. Cool, right? Okay, so I'll select everything and go to pose, clear transform, clear transform, all. Okay, so I have the character uh, with a Rigify rig, which is kind of based on the Miximo rig. Uh, so now I can go back to Miximo and apply animations to my character. So let's grab the silly dancing. Cool, now I can download the character and I'm going to download it without skin to make my download lighter. But here's something important. Downloading without skin will change the rest pose of the character a little bit. XPKit is smart and it tries to account for this difference in rest poses. But if the retargeting doesn't seem right, then you can also try to download with skin and see if that gives you better results. Now I'm going to download. And now back in Blender, I can import this um, new FBX. So I'll go to object mode here and file, import, FBX. And I want to import the silly dancing. Here it is. And here is how XPKit allows us to transfer this Miximo animation that we just downloaded to the Rigify rig that we created. So before I go, I want to name this uh, animation properly. So I'll go to Dope Sheet, Action Editor, and here we have the animation name. It's long and it doesn't uh, tell us what it does. So let's 
call it silly dance. Okay, and then we can move on. So to transfer an animation from the Miximo rig to the Rigify rig, here is what you do. First, select the Rigify rig, then shift select the Miximo rig. Okay, the order is important. And then go to pose mode. Okay, then right click, go to XPK binding and bind to active armature. And we want to bind Miximo controls and the bind target will be Miximo. As soon as we set this up, the character will assume this pose of the uh, animation skeleton. I'm not actually an expert when it comes to these settings. Much object transform, generally you can leave to default. And I found out that if I enable chain look at, that gives me results uh, that are closer to the source rig. Okay, notice how if I enable it, the pose of the character is closer is much closer to the Miximo rig. And that's it. We have some settings for root animation, which can be very powerful, and I'm going to try to cover them in another video. Okay, so now uh, if I play this animation, you'll see that my character, which is rigged with Rigify, is playing this animation. Um, However, the Rigify rig is not really animated yet, meaning that there are no keyframes for it. If I select any of these controls, you'll see that there are no keyframes. And if I look under Bone Constraints, you'll see that these controls are constrained and they're constrained to the Miximo rig. So now to bake this action to the Rigify rig, there are two things that you can do. One is to bake them manually. And here XPKit has a little feature that can help you. If you right click, go to Binding and select constraint controls that will select all of the controls that have uh, constraints and then you can go to pose animation uh, bake action and I think that was the workflow for earlier versions of XP kit but in the newest version of the add-on you have baking built right into the add-on so if you right click and go to animation bake constraint actions that will bake the animation but here's something important here I have one of the uh, Rigify controls selected. And as you can see, the armature, which is my Rigify rig, is uh, highlighted. If I select one of the bones of the Miximo armature, then the Miximo armature becomes highlighted and active. So you need to have the Miximo armature active and then right click, animation, bake constraint actions, type to bake, Rigify controls, and then press bake and exit. Okay, we wait a while. And now if I select one of the Rigify controls, you'll see that there are uh, keyframes. And we have an action, it's called action. So let's rename it to silly dance Rigify. And also if you look on the bone constraints, the bone constraints will be gone. So basically that baked the animation to the Rigify rig. Now we can even uh, delete the Miximo armature. If I go back to the timeline um, and select the Rigify Rig, you'll see this uh, button in the timeline. If you press it, it will limit the range of the keyframes to the available uh, keyframes. And this function is also available in the right click menu. If you just go to pose mode and right click, there is animation uh, action range to scene, which uh, if I change the range here and go to animation action range to scene, it will be the same as pressing this button. Here is something else that XPKit enables you to do, and this may blow your mind, so be prepared. Um, I'll go back to Miximo, and as you probably know, Miximo allows you to download individual animations, but also animation packs. So for example, here's the Capoeira pack. So I'm not quite sure why, but I keep getting this loading screen. However, if I press download, I can actually download the pack. So I'm downloading it with the original pose, and I click download. Okay, so once it's downloaded, I'll go back to Blender. And the Capoeira pack was downloaded as a zip file. I'll just unzip it here. Okay, so now I have a folder with all of the animations. Now I can go to Blender and go to File, Import, FBX, go to my Capoeira pack. And here in this folder, if I just press the A button, I'll select all of the FBX files and I can import them in one go. So this may take a while. Uh, I'll reset the recording when everything has been imported. 
Okay, so here is what we get, and this looks really cool. <laughs> but now we can delete all of the imported armatures aside from one. So I'll just select the armature 002 and then scroll down and shift and select the last armature. And that selects everything in between. I'm going to press delete. And actually, that wasn't it because um, the first armature is this default tipos. So I'll undo and I'll deselect. I'll control click here and then I'll control click on the next one and delete. Okay, and I also want to get rid of this uh, additional model and armature, so I'll right click on armature 001 and delete hierarchy. Okay. Okay, so now I'll select the Rigify armature, go to Top Sheet, Action Editor, and I will unlink this uh, animation here. And then it doesn't really matter that the character is in a specific pose. I'll shift select the Miximo armature, go to pose mode, Right click and just as before, bind to active armature. Again, I want to bind Rigify controls to Miximo. And I'll enable chain look at because it seems to produce better results. Okay, so now we have this large list of animations, uh, 39 if I'm not mistaken, that we downloaded from Miximo. Basically the whole Capoeira package. So now, uh, just as before, I can right click and go to animation, bake constraint actions. As you can see, it says actions uh, in plural. So just click on that and set your type to bake to rigify controls and click bake and exit. And this uh, will take a while because it's going to bake as many as 39 animations. So you may have to wait a while. I'm going to stop the recording and then I'll let you know how long it took for me. So it actually only took about a minute or so um, and now if I go through my actions, these actions with long names are the original ones that we got from Miximo. And if I scroll up, I get these animations that are all called action. Action and 001, 002, and so on. And if I focus on the Rigify armature and apply any of these actions, you'll see that these are actually the Capoeira actions that have been baked for me. So that is very cool, but it may bother you that these actions do not have meaningful names. And here is an amazing feature in XPKit. It really shows how Paolo, the creator of XPKit, is going the extra mile to make this add-on really user-friendly. So if I select the Rigify rig and go to pose mode, right click and go to animation, rename actions from FBX data. And again, I'll go to the Capoeira pack and select everything. And I could right click to exclude this uh, first FBX, which doesn't really contain an action. And then I'll press the rename actions button. And you'll see that my active action has been renamed based on the name of the FBX file. And the way uh, XPKit does this is it looks at the length of the animation. It is very smart. However, some uh, animations inevitably will have the same number of keyframes and then XPKit won't be able to tell which one is which. In this case, I'll go through my animations and here they are. These animations that uh, kept the action name are not yet renamed. So I'll select this one, I'll make it active. And now if I go to the armature tab, you should find the XPKit utilities. And that will show you that there are two animations with the same number of keyframes. And you have to go through your animation and you kind of have to figure out what name suits it. Um, now this capoeira pack was maybe a bad choice in this case because I don't know much about capoeira. So I couldn't tell uh, if this is AU or Ginga variation. But anyway, let's say that it was the Ginga variation. I'm going to click on it. And what this does is it renames this action to Ginga and the other one, which had the same uh, number of keyframes to AU. Okay, so now I can go to another name, um, to another action that is named as action. And, and here I have three candidates. 
I don't know which is which, so I'll just select one at random and then move to another one. Okay, and just like that, you can keep selecting the unnamed animations and choosing the right candidate name. Okay, so now everything is named properly. I can delete this um, Mixamo armature. I still have a bunch of these um, Mixamo animations in the scene. As you can see, they're marked with zero, which means that they'll be deleted once I save and reload this file. So I'm going to save it, control S, and then go to file, revert. And you'll see that all of these um, Mixamo animations with the strange names are gone. Whereas uh, the ones that we baked, are still in the file. That is because they are marked with this shield icon and that is again uh, done smartly by XPKit. Okay, so this is how I transferred 39 animations from Miximo to Rigify and it was all done without much effort. Okay, so here's the second workflow that I was talking about earlier. Let's assume that you already have a character rigged with Rigify like this and this is a standard Rigify rig with a face. Rigging a human with Rigify, including the face, has been covered a lot, including on my channels. So if you need to learn how to do that, I'm going to share some links. But now let's see how we can use XPKit to assign Mixamo animations to this Rigify rig. Because XPKit has so many features, there are different ways in which you can do this. But here is what worked for me. Um, I'm going to save this file and I'm going to create a separate temporary file where I can do whatever I like because I'll be changing things quite a lot. So click save as and so I won't need this generated rig anymore. I'm going to delete it and from the meshes I only want the body or everything else I can delete and I'm going to unhide the meta rigs. So I still have my meta rig, which in general, if you're working with Rigify, I advise you to always keep a backup of your meta rig. If you don't have it, just uh, start from a new human meta rig and align it again with your character. And you don't have to align the face, as you'll see, because I'm going to delete it. So I'll isolate the meta rig, go to edit mode, and I want to get rid of the face. So I'm going to select these head and neck bones, hide them with H and then select all face bones and delete them. Alt H to unhide and here I actually don't need two neck bones so I'm going to select the connection between the two bones and press Control X and that combines them into a single neck bone. These breast bones I don't need and the pelvis bones and the heel bones I'm also going to delete. Okay, slash to go out of local mode then I'll go to pose mode and here I'll use an XPKit feature. I'll right click, go to conversion, convert bone names, and I'll convert my Rigify meta rig to Miximo. And that will rename the meta rig bones to the traditional Miximo bones. As you'll see, the arm is called left arm, whereas in Rigify it was uh, called upper arm.l. Okay, next, go to object mode, select the, the mesh, shift select the armature, control P, parent with automatic weights. So that will parent the mesh to the armature and I really don't care about the deformation that that creates. I only want a mesh that is weighted to this armature because Mixamo always needs an armature and a mesh. And what this gives me is a simple rig that I can import in Mixamo and also it has the exact same articulation points, I mean the exact same joint positions as my Rigify rig. So now I can export this. I'll get rid of this widget collections that I still have here. And now I can save my temporary file and file export FBX. And I'm going to export this uh, temporary file. Um, I'll use the default FBX settings. Okay, in Mixamo, upload character, upload the FBX that I just created. And because I imported a character that already has bones, I won't need to rig it with Mixamo, it's already good to go, so I'll click next and confirm. And here is um, some animation already applied to this uh, character, I'm going to download it. Okay, and in Blender I can save my temporary scene just in case, and then I'll go back to my rigged character, import an FBX, 
and this is the file that I uh, downloaded. I'm going to deselect the armature and de delete the mesh. So select the rigify rig, shift select the Miximo armature, go to pose mode, right click, binding, bind to active armature. I want to bind rigify controls to Miximo and enable chain look at. And now it is already working. And just as before, make sure that the rig that we got from Miximo is active. Right click, animation, bake constraint actions. We want to bake the rigify controls, bake and exit. When the baking is done, I can delete the imported armature. And I'm going to have to assign the action. Dope sheet, action editor, and here's the action that I baked. Give it a proper name and you're done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you would like to watch unreleased CG dive content and support the channel, consider becoming a subscriber on Guru Road or Patreon. As always, thank you for supporting this channel in one way or another.